Hey, what's happening guys? I'm sure you have all seen these before. This is the standard seven segment display. You know, your digits and then also has a decimal point. And it's got 10 pins on it to wire it up. Pretty easy, you can either wire it and use it directly from your Arduino or through a shift register like an HC, uh, 74HC595, they're fun. I wanted a bigger one. So I got some of these one inch jobs, got a whole bunch of them, and they're pretty cool. And I was looking for a way to control them easier than having to do it all manually, and I found a pretty interesting library called Seven Segment, or Sev Seg. And I'll show you that when we go over to the computer. But if you're unfamiliar with how these things are set up, you know, they're called seven segments, but if you count the decimal point, there's really eight, and you have ten wires. Now, each of the segments are labeled in a particular way, and this is a standard labeling. So they, are go, they go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. See, in a nice little circular motion like that. And when you come out to the pins, they go like this. E, D, C, decimal point. Then up here we have G, F, A, and B. Now these are available in both common anode and common cathode. Common cathode is probably the most common. Hey, common cathode, most common. How about that? So these two center pins on both of them are your ground pin or your common pin and you really only need to hook up one of them. Now if you're going to use this with a 5 volt Arduino, a 220 ohm resistor or a 330 ohm resistor will put you right in the ballpark. So things are pretty easy there. Alright, so let's bring out the project board. Now these 7 segment displays are so big they span an entire breadboard so you have to clip two of them together. Now you can do a ton of things like this and of course you can put as many of these segments together as you want and the beauty of it is if you look at these wires here going over here where this looks like a giant mess let's actually um let's zoom in here Let me focus in so we're nice and tight. Okay. So these wires from the left digit simply connect to the same points on the right digit. And that's both for top and bottom. So they are simply wired in parallel. And then to have multiple digits connected, the only thing you need to do is connect your commons through a resistor, and you can see I have two 20 ohm resistors on both of those commons, to a separate pin on the Arduino. So in this case, the way I have everything wired up is our segments go like this. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I'm not using the decimal point here. So they just go to Arduino pins 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Those are our segments. Now our digits, so each of these as an individual block is a digit. The left one, you always go from left to right, goes to Arduino pin 2. And the right one goes to Arduino pin 3. So when you want to address the left digit, you bring pin, I'm sorry, when you want to address the right digit, you bring pin 3 low, send a high signal to the segments, and that's how it works. And of course, you know, they're multiplexed. So let's go and take a look at the code for this. And all, I'm, all I've done here, nothing complicated it's just going to show a number on the screen and you can take this from this point and do whatever you want with it 
All right, let's go take a look. All right, so this is the code, but first of all, let's go in here and show you if you don't have this library, you want to go want to go to your manage libraries. Then you're just going to type in here 7 seg Come on, think about it. Pop up. There we go. 7 seg and Here's the library we're looking for. This one right here. It's called SevSeg and it's by Dean Reading. So just go ahead and install that. Okay, once you've got that done, we can bring up this stuff here. But first, let's pop a look over here at this README file. And this is in the library folder so that you can understand kind of where we're coming from here. And if we come down here and it tells you the digit pins, these are our common pins and our eight segment pins, one for each of the seven segments plus the decimal point. Now our connections, they can be connected to any pin you want. That's the beauty of this library. Again, here to tell a little bit of info about current limiting resistors. And we come down here to the hardware configuration. So we are using a common cathode. You're going to need to know whether what you have is common cathode or common anode. Because if you put them in backwards, it just won't work. Now, it also works with displays that use transistors. So you can use it with an N-type or a P-type. We'll go through all that. Now let's skip this because this really doesn't work for anything that I've seen. Now here we come down to our setup. So obviously we're going to include the library. And then we have our setup clone. But here's, here's the point where I wanted to get. It tells you how to go in here and do your setup. And if you read right down here, it tells you digit pins is an array that stores the Arduino pin numbers that the digits are connected to. And make sure you order them from left to right. And then segment pins is an array that stores the Arduino pin numbers that the segments are connected to. And you're going to order them from A to G and the decimal point at the end. So far pretty simple, right? And then to set a number, you can say sevseg.setNumber, and then your number here in parentheses, and you can see what it does. So 3141, 3 displays 3.141. So this 3 tells you at what point to turn on the decimal point. It tells you right here how to do it. And then it also tells you that to display an integer, which is what we're doing, the second argument is 0. See how simple this is? Same thing to display a float. You just need to put an F in there. And if the numbers are out of range, you get dashes. And if you leave the second argument out, you, it, it just assumes there's no decimal place. So, simple. You can even set the characters that can be displayed. Remember, some characters cannot be displayed, but, you know, it'll do what it can. Now, here's the key. Sevseg.refreshDisplay. So, your program has to run this repeatedly to display the number and any delays introduced by other functions will produce an undesirable effect on the display and then if you want to shut it off you can call a blank so all in all very simple so let's go and look at this simple code so we have include 7seg.h sevseg sevseg and that uh, instant bah, creates an instance of the library. Now we have uh, two digits, so we have two of those displays. So there we have a two. Then we have an array for our digit pins, which are hooked up two, three, remember left, right. Then we have an array for our segment pins, which are hooked up from six through 12 and 13 being the decimal point. Resistors on segments is false. And what that means is we are using one common resistor on the digit pin. 
These are a common cathode display and update with delays. We don't want any delays, so that's also false. And we're not using any leading zeros. So then we do our begin, sevseg begin, and it just uses all those arguments. Then we set our brightness, and boom, here's the loop. Here's how simple it is. Sevseg, set number 23, comma zero, sevseg, refresh display. All right. So when we go over and plug this in, we should see a number 23. Let's go do it. All right, it's up. Well, it's not up, but the code is updated. Let's plug in some power. Connector to the old computer Reno there. Oopsies. One of my pins is obviously, there we go, a little. Now, I don't see any of that flickering. That is totally caused by the camera. So there, that's better. So now you see we have a 23. It's that simple. Now I'm sending an update through right now that uh, changes the number to an 81. So hopefully this won't take too long and this display should change to an 81. But I just wanted you guys to see how using this seven segment library makes it incredibly simple to set your displays. Uh, compiling still. All right, I'll pause it. All right, we're uploading and there you have it, an 81. I love this. That's a, such a simple library to use. And these giant digit uh, seven segment displays are pretty cool too. I think I ordered them from Amazon. There's the numbers if you're interested in ordering them. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, tomorrow begins uh, Bang Goods 11th anniversary sale. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm out. Peace.